Hey everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Laura and I do memory planning in my Aura Estelle. Apologize again for the lighting. I'm still working on trying to figure out the kind of best setup. I still have a really shaky tripod, which you will see throughout, but I appreciate you still watching anyways as I work through all of the technical things. This week I am using a Scribble Prints Co. kit. It's her February mystery kit and it's kind of KonMari themed, which I ended up doing a little KonMari later in the week, so that was exciting. Um, I don't subscribe to her mystery kits. Um, I do follow her buy sell trade group on Facebook and so anytime there is a mystery kit that I like there's usually somebody selling it or you can post that you're looking for it and it's just a really good way to still get the kits that you want without having to subscribe every month to getting kits that maybe don't have a theme that you like um, and I have been honestly cutting back on buying from Scribble Prints Co just because it is pretty expensive and you will see um, my next next week I'm using another Scribble Prints Co kit but the next like four following ones are all from Sticky Essentials so um, anyways, on to my plans. I used a paper and milk shopping bag because we ran to Target right away Monday morning to get some groceries. We go to Target, it feels like at least once or twice every single week. Um, so we went there and right across the street is Taco Bell so using a Coffee Monsters Co. taco sticker I marked in that we picked up Taco Bell. My boyfriend and I are both pretty lazy and so even though we picked up groceries it felt so much easier after running errands to just pick up something quick and it's nice because they do have vegetarian options and as you can see on my sidebar I'm trying to eat vegetarian um, more often and I'll talk about that a little bit more later uh, to mark work this week I use the same square boxes that I always use for work but I didn't have work scripts so I end up writing it in which I don't show on camera because I was still wondering what I was going to use if I wanted to use a sticker or wait for scripts but I tried something new and turned it on its side and I honestly don't like it very much but it is what it is you you learn from trying new things uh, afterwards using a Lavin Forest sushi I marked in that my boyfriend picked up some sushi takeout for us to eat when I got back from work and that night was pretty rough. My boyfriend got sick in the middle of the night and so I woke up at like I think it was like 2 a.m. and made tea and got him crackers and was just trying to get his stomach to settle down. Um, so I used a Happy Dia but first tea sticker. Uh, it says it in gold foil so it's a little hard to see from this angle and lighting but it's super cute in person and I wish it came out that way on film. Tuesday my boyfriend went golfing in the morning so I woke up and started doing laundry. I was washing our bed sheets and I used a Moon Babe Inquiry little laundry soap sticker for that. He called me and asked me to meet up with him and the people he went golfing with at Cheesecake Factory for lunch. So I stopped by and did that and I marked it with a paper and milk little hamburger guy. 
since I got a little veggie burger there. Afterwards, I came home and finished hanging up laundry using a little Happy Daya laundry sticker. Marked work the same way with that little crooked box. <laughs> and then after work, I used a whole, ooh, sorry, hay soul sticker, little beer glass to mark that I started working on a cocktail list. I've been a server, bartender, and supervisor at the same restaurant for over four years now, and I train in a lot of the new people in so I wanted to make a little tool for the bartenders that are newer to be able to look for cocktails that maybe they don't know how to make but are pretty common. So I just kind of made a sh cheat sheet of recipes for them. And that's how I spent my night. On Wednesday, it was a pretty boring, relaxing day. I used a Happy Diastica. Happy Diet sticker. Sorry, I'm like mumble mouth, I think, because this is my second time doing this voiceover. Um, happy Diet sticker to Mark and just cuddling with my boyfriend in the morning. And I didn't do much besides kind of relax on the couch while my boyfriend watched his. ESPN kind of sports news so I used a pumpkin paper co little girl snuggled up on the couch just relaxing uh, afterwards I grabbed the mail and received some happy mail I can't remember which stickers I got but I definitely got some stickers that day and I used a paper shire little envelope with hearts coming out. That envelope is from an old weekly kit that I used and I saved all of the icons from it because she just has such adorable icons and such a nice style. I didn't want to waste not using them. Afterwards, I pre-planned last week's plan with me, um, just pulling the stickers out to make it easier and faster to record, and especially since it was my first recording, I wanted it to go as smoothly as possible, and that is a Pumpkin Paper Co. planner. Um, Again, you can see it's shaky. Sorry about the shaky camera, but I'm just filling in the writing for the first half of the week. I use a Paper Mate Ink Joy, I believe in a 0 0.7. It's my favorite pen to use in my planner. It just writes really smooth and I kind of like the thickness of it. Um, Talking about my habit trackers, um, again for vegetarian, I am trying to eat more vegetarian and I've tried going vegetarian multiple times in the past and I've never really been able to have it last, especially having boyfriends that eat meat. It's kind of hard to get them to be on track and not have to do separate meals and go to separate places to eat. Um, so right now I'm just trying my best to eat vegetarian as much as possible. So I marked down what days that I was completely vegetarian. I still allow myself to do dairy and eggs as of right now, but everything else is a no-go. Um, all right, and then my other one is just for sobriety. As I am recording this voiceover right now, I am two months sober. Um, it's not something that I feel like is ever going to change. I want to be sober for the rest of my life, and so eventually I'll stop <laughs> marking it in my planner, but because it is 
still a relatively new thing for me. It is just nice to have to mark it off every day in my planner and be held accountable for it. Um, so I'm going to keep marking that for a while. We'll see when I stop, but right now it's kind of nice to have something that I mark off every single day and do well. Um, on to Thursday, my boyfriend and I went out to eat for lunch. I used a Happy Daya little kind of crock pot sticker. It came in her kind of Pooh Bear themed bundle. So I believe it was in a pack of freebies that were kind of themed to Pooh Bear. You can see the little B on top of it. Um, I used it because I had uh, vegan mac and cheese there. And it was very interesting. I don't know if I would eat it again. It's really hard to enjoy meals that are trying to like knock off others and especially since I'm eating cheese right now like it made me miss cheese thinking about calling it mac and cheese like I wanted that cheese taste to it if it would have just been called vegan pasta I'm sure I would have liked it more but the fact that I was kind of in my head about expecting mac and cheese like it just wasn't satisfying Afterwards, we went to Target, so I used a same paper and milk shopping bag as I did on Monday. Went to the post office to return a tripod that did not work out for recording these plan with me's. It did not go perfectly parallel, and so filming would have been even worse on that. So I returned it at the post office and used another paper shire icon from one of our past weekly kits. Afterwards, we went on a little bike ride because we worked later that evening and had time. So that is a joy of planning. A little bike riding sticker and she's super cute. Friday, I marked that I was super excited because my mom stopped by that morning. So that's a little Maru from Paper and Milk kind of crying in excitement and love. Um, I miss my mom a lot. We used to hang out pretty much every week. And now with things still not being necessarily safe, especially because I work in a restaurant, I don't see her very much just out of respect of trying not to get her sick, trying not to not get her boyfriend sick. Um, so when I do get to kind of see her quickly when she stops by to drop off masks she's made or mail that came to her house for me, like, I'm just really happy when I get to see her. So I mark that in my planner. Afterwards, Friday was my day off, so I started organizing our bookshelves in our living room, um, kind of doing the KonMari method of getting rid of things that we didn't need or didn't spark joy, and just organize the catch-all mess that was in the baskets of our bookshelves. So that's a little Coffee Monsters Co. little organizing sticker. Just did some errands afterwards, doing laundry with and doing dishes. Um, that's from Moon Babe Inquiry and from Hey Soul Sticker, I believe. And while I was doing all of those chores, I was binging on Netflix. That's another Moon Babe Inquiry sticker. And I was binge watching uh, Married at First Sight. It's such a ridiculous show, but I decided to start season nine, which is on Netflix, and it's the only one I've seen, and I just got so addicted <laughs> to wanting to see how it turned out, who stayed married, and I don't know, it's, it, it turned into a guilty pleasure kind of show that I binged watch the whole week afterwards. 
And then afterwards, uh, my boyfriend came home, so we just finished up the night watching Shark Tank. On Saturday, it is the least exciting day in my planner I've ever <laughs> done. I set up my Samsung Active watch that I received from my dad for Christmas last year, but I stopped using it once I was in quarantine and wasn't working because it was kind of pathetic seeing how little I was walking and exercising. Um, and that watch sticker is from a clip art from a previous Scribble Prince Co. Um, weekly kit. Like I said with the Papershire ones, I try and save as many icons, clip arts, little stickers that might be useful um, later for planning because I don't think I ever would have bought watch stickers, but in this case it was nice to have in my little sticker album of leftovers. Marked work twice that day because I worked two separate shifts and in between I used a Happy Dia take a break little bear sticker because I went home in between my two shifts to have an early dinner with my boyfriend and then we both went to work that evening. Sunday was a much much better day. I love Sundays because <laughs> uh, those are sports days. Uh, so in the morning I made some chocolate chip muffins from scratch and that is a paper and milk maru. Uh, marked two separate sports games, football, the Vikings game, and Minnesota United soccer game. Those are both Happy Dia stickers. And in between, I used a Paper Shire kind of pumpkin pie looking sticker. It was a freebie from a while ago to mark having chili and pumpkin pie at my dad's house. I went over there to watch the soccer game with him and my brother and my parents are divorced so <laughs> that's why it's more exciting to see my mom because I don't see her very often. My dad, I go over there and watch sports with him still. He's a little more comfortable with things going on so it's still nice to see my dad all the time too but Usually I'm marking what sport we're watching when that's the case. Um, and then afterwards, another little TV icon sticker to mark finishing up the night watching Shark Tank with my boyfriend again. Sped up writing everything in to finish out the week. Um, I just want to thank you all for watching this whole video. If you made it this long, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. My Instagram is linked in the description, so feel free to follow me. And all the stickers I used are also in the description box below. Uh, thanks again. I'll see you next time.